Hey folks, this is Fernando doing another video for Mars Survivalist. In this case, the video is about respirators, face masks. This has been requested through through YouTube uh, some time ago. Recently, I got another email asking to do a video about it. I have done videos about the importance of air in the past. Um, it is maybe one of those things that it's um, either underestimated or not understood. In general, when you th see one of these, um, you think of uh, someone with a little bit of, of extreme views, worried about a, a nuclear war, a apocalyptic <laughs> type of scenario. That's uh, not the thing. Um, you have to think of it in the terms of how important it is in relationship to the rules of three, which is our, our basic in terms of what you need to stay alive. You know, three minutes without air, you cannot live three hours of exposure in extreme weather conditions. The good example of that is the recent uh, ice and snowstorms that people in the US have been seeing. You cannot survive three days without water, three weeks without food. Three minutes without air is a pretty short time. Whenever air is compromised, uh, you will notice, and you will notice that fast. Um, you don't have to go to extreme end of the world apocalyptic nuclear warfare scenarios so as to see air being affected. Actually, in, in Buenos Aires, I, I saw it, uh, well, you know, bad enough luck that uh, a volcano erupting thousands of miles away, the wind was blowing those ashes in our direction, and we woke up one day to find the city covered with a thin layer of glass volcanic ash. And it was definitely something to uh, it, it was concerning I mean as time went by and it didn't go away you started wondering how good that could be to your body and you know you, you just knew it wasn't good not only that we also ended up seeing bushfires nearby and I think that personally was the worst for me it got to a point where you were just going nuts the the smell the the, the smoke was getting inside the houses as well you just lived surrounded by smoke that was uh, pretty bad times um, not only that you have for example with um, with with a bird flu problem as well uh, you know there's a number of, of of things that could happen that compromise the quality of air to um, a, a lesser or greater degree so it is important to have at least some measures you know anything from even a, an earthquake with collapsing structures a terrorist attack like seen in 9-11 you saw people uh, is, is struggling to catch a, a mouthful of, of fresh air again there's so many things fires if you live in um, close to um, industrial plants and such there's so many things that could go wrong especially if you live close to a nuclear power plant or a, a, an industrial um, the district it is something that you should seriously consider because in in that kind of location there is always a higher risk of something going wrong and air being seriously affected in that case I would suggest going for some of the of the better quality of of, of respirators these two are good examples of what you could uh, go for you have a, an s10 uh, respirator this is uh, replaced recently by the gsr general service respirator this was a uk issued until not that long ago and i th think it's still in use it uses 40 millimeter uh, f uh, canisters uh, this one uses a, another type of, of filter and it is uh, of course nice a little bit more advanced uh, a basic nbc nuclear biological and chemical s10 respirator like this one would get the job done I mean this is uh, you can find it in the surplus market for for pretty cheap but it's still quality and the important thing it does work you have um, a type of, of canister that it's, it's still pretty much available remember you have to have these sealed properly so as to make sure that they work you have to check also that the rubber is in good condition, that's not cracked, it's not leaking, so you have to try, you put it on, you, you check it for leaks, you, you cover the canister exit and you breathe in and out so as to check that in both directions you're getting a good seal. Sometimes the valves are, are rotten, rotten or broken or cracked and you see that it's, it's leaking. So make sure of that. Also check when it has been actually made. For example, there's very old ones of these, but this one, 2008, that's, that's really not bad. There's uh, some that are much older than that. So if you can, check, check for when it was, it was made. 
again on the inside the kind of you know the, the rubber the rubber seal it does not cracked or anything and you know it's a, a very good respirator right now we're seeing images of, of in in Ukraine where all the rioting is taking place again lots of smoke lots of tear gas and we've seen images I've seen them for sure of, of people using very old uh, like World War II type of, of, of respirators and face masks and you know just when, when air is is affected anything anything goes much better if you of course have something like this um, more expensive but definitely better the GSR it's the, it, it's a very nice mask it's a very nice one. It, it, it is comfortable. It is easier to breathe in and out. You don't have to struggle as much as with the older ones. Uh, the older ones, again, are okay. If, if you can, uh, if you can get these, then these would, of course, be the ones to go for. At least for uh, people in maybe in, in Europe and US, you have the equivalent of of the surplus mask would be the M40 that has been replaced by the um, military issue M50 respirator in US and that would be the one to get if you are in America but the older ones there are some Israeli gas masks that also use make sure that if you're buying a surplus uh, the S10 is okay the M40 is okay the Israeli ones that use the M40 canisters that, that's also okay remember that it uses a canister that it's available that's one of the first things you should be checking before buying anything but yeah definitely if maybe you live close to an industrial district or if you have a, a nuclear power plant or something that uh, could affect the quality of air nearby um, then definitely try going for something a little bit better GSR M50 or something equivalent of course these things are pretty bulky and uh, I think that air is important enough that you should have at least something uh, even, not, if, even if it's not a, a, as good a, as this, at least have something in case air gets compromised. These are the ones that I found to be the best. Uh, and that's why I have several of these around. These are, uh, I'll tell you the exact, uh, uh, if it's a 3M, here's the model. I'll try finding links to all this stuff in Amazon. I'll put those links below, just under the, the window. I'll see what I find and put it there. Uh, 3M Aurora 9332 these are FFP3 why is that important well because you have different qualities as you can see here you have FFP1 FFP2 FFP3 the FFP3 are the ones that have the red uh, elastic bands uh, the FFP3 uh, filters 99% of airborne particles that's pretty good and it also has a lesser and under 2% inward leak so the air that leaks inward uh, around your your, your mask in, in the seal because you're not getting a, of course as good as a seal as, as with an actual uh, rubber piece like that uh, but it, less than 2% that is very acceptable of all the ones I did try quite a few of these back in Argentina with the with the bird flu uh, with a bird flu problem um, lots of people were using them and they got very expensive even the, the simple cloth uh, masks that you see doctors using that have nothing really going on for them even those went skyrocketed in, in price especially close to the volcano areas uh, of disasters in in Patagonia, in Argentina, when when this happened, they were selling those like for ten dollars a a simple cloth uh, face mask. You know, nuts. But uh, you know, it's supply and demand. When when air is compromised that way, the same thing happened in, in Buenos Aires when when there was smoke because of the grasses, the the the, the bushfires, and uh, because of the uh, volcano ash as well. These things pretty much disappeared, and if you found them, they were very very expensive. Let alone one of these guys. So, kind of thing you want to have ahead of time. With the little valve that you have here, that makes it easier to breathe in and, and breathe out. You, you don't get a, a, as much a, a tired as fast, and it doesn't get all a, wet with moist of your respiration, which affects how well it's filtering and how easily it is for you to breathe. And also, finally, the, the best thing about these is how flat they are. They're very, very flat. It's very easy to have a couple of these in, in, your, in your bag, in your everyday carry bag or whatever um, thing you, you have with you with some gear. These fit very nicely. You know, just a couple of these or three can have them no problem whatsoever. So 
So yeah, I suggest having one of these definitely. So remember also that uh, especially when when you need a, a, a really good seal because of some serious uh, threat, uh, and it is recommended not to have a, a beard. I know that some guys in the military have tested it with beard and passed the test and such, and they say, yeah, I have a beard and it still works. I still get a perfect seal. I've tried it. Now that's not what the manufacturer says. The manufacturer says that you have to have a, a clean shaved face so as to get a proper seal. So some guy saying that it, it, it worked for him, maybe, maybe not, you don't know how much of that is true. Yeah, I suggest always going for what the manufacturer says and recommends. He's probably doing so for a reason. So especially if you have the time, you know, if you have the time, it probably it's not that way, but if you do, just make sure you have a, a clean shaved face for for using your, your respirator. Folks, that's all for now. Just more suggestions, stuff that you have asked for and I have done my best to provide it. If you have any requests, comments or anything, just let me know, especially in the comments section. I'd like to know and share the video if you liked it. Remember to subscribe. See you on our next video. Have a great day.